Clark coming to you this evening on a Garage Guy channel. It is June 22nd, 2018, and summer has officially arrived here in the southwestern part of Virginia. Now, the title of this video, Glock 26 Gen 3, sweet and simple. And right here is my very first Glock 26. Of course, it's a Gen 3, it's brand new. I got it from Bud's for $506. Over the past several years, I've had the pleasure of being able to shoot the Glock 26, Gens 3, 4, and most recently, Gen 5. And when the time come for me to make my decision, I chose a Gen 3. Why? Several different reasons, but like part of the title, simple. That's it. You know, and we'll go over that stuff later on here in the video. But anyhow, what do you say we go over here to the bench under the bright light and take a first look at this little fella right here? Be right with you, my friends. Well, my friends, here we are on the bench under the bright light. We already know pretty much what this comes with right here, but I'm going to go ahead and do the quickie overview here. You got your safety lock. Got the 110 round magazine. You got your Glock ammo assist loading tool right here. I use up Lula. I got a drawer full of these things and locks. Uh, cleaning brush handle. You can put your little uh, barrel cleaning patches in this little hole right here. Put that right back. And of course your cleaning brush right there. I like those and your Glock paperwork. That's about it right there. Okay, now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and lay this down right quick. Good looking little pistol. I've always had a soft spot for these smaller firearms. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the safety check right here. Got good ejection, nothing in the magazine. Nothing in the chamber. Point in safe direction. Let's look at trigger pull. Just like it. Reset. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, this, for the longest time, was Glock's smallest firearm right here until the uh, 42 came out about five years ago. Of course, you got your standard Glock uh, field goal sights here. I'll probably have them changed out to some tri Trigicon, I believe I pronounced that right. Uh, fiber optic night sights or just the regular night sights. Don't really need fiber optic. Uh, here I have the Glock 19 magazine. As we know, these magazines are interchangeable. Uh, one direction only. The bigger magazines will go into smaller guns. Glock 17 magazine, no problem. Look at that. Now you got a Glock 26X if they ever come out with it. <laughs> and we just take that out. What do we have here? Glock 17 magazine, 17 rounds. Glock 26 double X if they ever come out with it. And if you get that 33 round uh, Glock joystick, you could have a Glock Quadruple X 26, I guess. But, you know what? I got this 10 round capacity is just fine with me in this size firearm. Alright. Uh, go ahead and look at it right here. It looks like, well, somebody's had their fingers all over it, but that's no problem. We'll go ahead and take this apart real quick. Just pull back, pull down on them tabs on each side, and there we go. Just that simple and easy. Dual spring uh, guide rod. Let's see if we get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. Just like it. And the barrel, my friends. Right there it is. Nice. Nice smooth feed ramp right there. Hmm. A little bit of oil from the factory. Usually, sometimes these Glocks will come bone dry, but it looks like there's a little bit of oil in it. And, uh, well, pretty clean. Like I said in my other first look videos, you don't see them quite this clean again. 
But you know what I'm going to do, especially on this slide right here. I'm going to use some of my favorite stuff. Ballast stall. I'll go ahead uh, before I shoot it. I'll wipe it down with this real good, clean it up. And then afterwards, what did it do with them? All right, here they are. Talons, traction grips. Everybody knows, especially on these Gen 3s, the sides of these grips are pretty slick. The back of it's got some good stippling, and you got your finger grooves, which has got good stippling, but talons. I got talon rubberized grips on all my Glocks, okay? I'm going to go ahead, spray some ballast stall on it, clean it off real good, then put the traction grips on it, be right back with you. All right, my friends, I got the gun cleaned down. Looks pretty daggone good. That ballast stall makes any Glock look really nice. I mean, this is, the finish on these guns look really nice after being cleaned with some ballast stall. And as you can see here, I also have the uh, rubberized talon grips on here. These things are thin, very thin, add no width whatsoever and they feel really good. Now, uh, some people prefer the granulated grips. That's all right if, uh, say, you're in competition shooting or whatever. But me, as far as uh, concealed carry, I prefer the rubberized grips. They don't scratch you up too bad. Now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do some comparisons here. And I will have the magazines out of all of them because, well, Pretty much, this has uh, got a flat base on the magazine to this. And so does this one right here. This is a Sky CPX2 I got a couple of weeks ago. And I'm initially uh, still doing reviews on it. Uh, the video on this gun will be out within the next week or two. But anyhow, let's go ahead and do this. The slide on the Sky is more beveled to where the Glock is pretty well flat. But they're about equal in width. I'd say the Glock being a tad wider. But if you look from slide to slide here, I'm trying to get it. The 26 is just a tad bit longer. Now, if we go ahead and look at the grips, yeah. It's, it's longer on the sky. Both are double stacks. Both hold 10 rounds. These Glocks are very dependable. The jury's still out on this sky, but they are comparable in size. All right. Now, we look at the M&P shield. Of course, this is a single stack, and I just want to throw this in there. Uh, they're about the same length as far as the slides and barrel but the Glock being a double stack it is going to be wider and we look at the length of the grips you can see right there the uh, Glock is much shorter and the last gun I'm going to compare it to Glock 19 Gen 3 right here my friends bigger brother all right same width of course, the 19 is going to be a little bit longer. The grip handles here, the 19 is going to be longer. But same width. Basically, everything on here is the same except for the length of the slide and barrel and the length of the grip. We've already seen these comparisons a blue million times. Thought I'd throw that in there, but uh, anyhow... You gotta admit, this is a good looking little fellow right here. And uh, talon rubberized grips make all the difference in the world. Tell you what, my friends, I now have the uh, rubberized talon grips on here, and I have cleaned and lubed this thoroughly with ballastol. So why don't we go down here and watch some video footage of me taking my very first shots through this brand new Glock 26 Gen 3, the baby Glock. All right, let's see what happens. 
All right, my friends, my first shots out of this brand new Glock 26 Gen 3, two 10 round magazines, Winchester white box target rounds, 115 grain. Let's do this. About 10 yards away. Nice, very nice. Ooh, look at them leaves coming down. No problems. Well, my friends, I'm back up here at the garage, and as you saw, the gun shot flawlessly, no problems whatsoever. Now, after I turned the camera off, I had uh, 80 more rounds, Winchester white box, target rounds. I put all 80 through this right here. No problems, it functioned flawlessly. Uh, no failures to feed, no failures to eject. No rounds, nose diving in the magazines whatsoever. This firearm was very accurate. As a matter of fact, I'd like to say that uh, it was a lot like shooting my Gen 3 Glock 19, which uh, I have right here. Now, I know the sights are farther apart on this, but the uh, 26 pretty much had the same... Uh, uh, point of aim on it, aim the six o'clock position, the same as I did on the 19, and I hit what I aimed at. The trigger pull, I have never seen two firearms that had more of an identical trigger pull than this 19 or this 26 right here, you know. The only difference I could tell was where my pinky was hanging off here on the 26, but that's all well and fine. Just a little bit of practice, I'll get used to that. This is a really fine firearm, and I have no regrets buying it so far. Now, I only got 100 rounds to it. Things can happen, but I have a really good feeling about this. Before I got this from Bud's here earlier in the week, I got on YouTube and decided I was going to watch some uh, Glock 26 Gen 3 videos and I come across this one channel, Vlog Moore. And he had a uh, 26 Gen 3 video and he gave his reasons why he liked it and every reason he had was a very good reason. I could find no fault with it. It was like he hit the nail right on the head. You know, I totally agreed with this guy, and when I left a comment, I told him that. Then I got to uh, looking at some of his other videos, and it was like we had the same comparable uh, likes in some certain firearms. So I hit that subscribe button. So I want to tell my viewers and subscribers, go to the Vlog More channel. Check out his videos. If you like them, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You know, let's help this guy, you know, get up to 500 subs. All right. When I saw that video, he was like 456. Let's help him hit 500 here real quick. Very good channel. Vlog more. Thank you very much for the Glock 26 Gen 3 video. You gave some very excellent reasons, my friend. But back to this right here, Glock 26 Gen 3. Everybody's talking about, well, Glock 26 Gen 4, guess what? It has back straps, yada, yada, yada. Guess what? Gen 3, the way it is, fits my hand perfectly. I don't need back straps.
Plus, I find the Gen 3s have a better trigger than the Gen 4s. Now, the Gen 5s, they have a little bit bigger, better trigger. You know, you don't have that take up as much at first, but still yet, you're looking at, what, $50, $75 more. And that little tad of take up on the trigger pull isn't worth that. Gen 3, as good as it was when it first come out. You know, I can tell you that right now. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. I guess I babbled on too long, as usual. But this right here is a really fine little firearm. I've had the uh, other subcompacts that were the same size. I'm talking uh, Taurus G2, PT-111s. You know, they were pretty good guns. Uh, what we got here are the Sky CPX2. The jury is still out on these things. A lot of people have had good luck with them. A lot of people have not had good luck with them, but for a little over $200, a decent budget gun. But these Glocks are just tried, tested, and proven. All right, the AK-47 of handguns. Wow. A lot of people like to doll these up, add other stuff, aftermarket parts, make it their own. That's fine. I had no problem with that, but the only aftermarket part I've got on this, Talon rubberized grips. I have them on all my Glocks. And I might, uh, the back slide plate here, I might personalize this. I might have a the anodized aluminum plate, I might order it. Have 26 put on here. And I do have two Pyrrhus grip extensions on here, on order. And not the ones that add capacity, but the ones where I can get my pinky on here because it really don't make a whole world of difference as far as length right here. We see the length. Uh, well, other people's done comparisons on their videos. I've already done one here earlier tonight. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to waste your time, okay? I'm going to get on out of here. But Glock 26 Gen 3, sweet and simple. And I will say this. It's something to think about. All right. This is Mark, garage guy. When you go shooting, you be safe.